Welcome to another video by Log Analysis Made Easy, Lame Creations, and we are covering IT service intelligence. And in this section, we're going to be covering entities. Entities can be anything, but in the most basic concept, they are going to be machines or things that are contributing to your KPIs. And there are multiple ways to add them in. I'm going to do the most simple way, which is to just do a search for them. And so if I come into configurations and I go to entity management inside IT service intelligence, I'm going to write a, a, some code to find my entities. So I'm going to import from a search. So say you're wanting to Splunk your own, you want to use ITSI in your own Splunk instance. You can go look at your internal logs to pull that stuff back. And so I'll give two examples here. This one here, we're going to do index. Actually, let's try this. Metadata. No. Index equals index equals YouTube. It's what we did. I'm going to show this a little quickly. I created a my own log. This is a standalone system, so I don't have any uh, logs coming in from other machines. So I need to create one. And I just used a stream stats. Look at the video up above. I'll give a reference to where you can find the principle if this doesn't make sense to you. But I use make results count for stream stats. And then I just use some eval statements. If the answer is one, two, three, or four, change the this to machine A, B, C, and D. Now I have entities. And then I give them some random values between one and 10. If I run that, I'll get a different set of values each time, but I'll always get four logs with machine one, two, uh, A, B, C, and D. And I've set that on a, on a scheduled search to run every two minutes, so I have some data just constantly being uh, created. So let's go grab that, and I, the piece I didn't show is there's actually a make, I did a collect statement on that. So let's go find what I, my index here. Index equals YouTube, and that's where I'm writing them. There's my logs. They called it YouTube multi-entity value, and there's the logs coming in. So if I do this, and then I go, this should just work. If I run this query, I'm going to get back. I'm going to search it. And it's going to tell me, all right, you got these fields. Uh, you got what you need. And I'm going to say, yes, I do. Scroll all the way to the bottom. There's all my fields. Okay. So let's go and change this up to stats account by host name. Is that what it is? Host machine. Change that up. Now I've got machine A, B, C, and D. I'm good with that. So I'm going to select my columns. I want this to be an entity title. and do not import that. So one of the first things to do, we're going to go out to YouTube, not YouTube, we're going to go to Google and grab the ITSI entities. Splunk, ITSI entities, C type, overview of entity types, and I can come back with the documentation. It'll tell me what they are. So we've got default entity types, So we'll have an entity type, 
so we have an entity title and then we're going to uh, um, so if we have conflict resolution we update conflict resolution field it's on the machine name and we don't have any uh, services to be imported so we go ahead and hit OK OK it's done so I can then set up a recurring import. If I do this, it's going to grab new entities. And I can run this every day. We'll run that at midnight. Sure. Set that up. And now I've got a recur recurring uh, import every day. So every day it's going to look at those. And if there's a new entity, it'll just add them to it. So let's go look at my my entities back to, I could click that view all entities, but I'm just going to go configuration entities. And now I have machine A, B, C, and D. And you can go put entities in maintenance mode. That's going to be something when you're doing machine. If you're taking a system down for um, patching or whatever the case may be, you'll want to come in here and put your entity in maintenance mode. Otherwise, your KPIs are going to be unhealthy. Imagine a system being down. Does that give good performance reviews? Probably not. But it's expected. So you've got the ability to uh, erase them, put them in maintenance mode, et cetera. So it gives you a lot of flexibility with these entities. Um, and so now that I've created entities, we're ready to go to the next step. But the, the key was to get an entity in there. There are other ways of getting entities in there. You can create a single entity. You can import from a CSV. If I go and create a single entity, it's as simple as putting YouTube entity. And you don't need anything else if you don't want to. There are reasons to these entity types. We're going to come back to that. That's typically when you import and do a lot of uh, stuff with services. That's going to be beyond the scheme. When we go through this video set the first time, we're not going to worry about entity types. When we go through it using uh, some content management stuff that ES has already given out of the, that you can use, then we'll see the entity types be put into effect. So for now, just leave it simple, YouTube ent entity. And so we now have our five entities. Hope this is helpful. You're going to you're going to want to have you're going to be using entities in your system. Uh, whether you, when you choose to set them up is kind of dependent on your KPIs and how you're going to do stuff. But this is a real simple solution, uh, really simple, easy way of finding entities. As I said, you can manually enter them. You can do it by a search. Often by a search is a, a much easier way. Just make sure that you don't have conflicting. You don't want things with the same title or if there's IP addresses or other things associated with this entity, you don't want them to conflict. You'll get warnings up above here if you do. Anyway, hope this was helpful and this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. And if you like the video, uh, by all means, li uh, like, subscribe, join the channel. Uh, your support is truly appreciated. Write down below if you have any comments that you want to see or join my Discord. If you write comments in the Discord, I'll get back to you. Uh, i like to know what you guys want to see. Give me some suggestions for videos you want to see, and I'll do my best to make that happen. Anyway, hope, to see, hope you watch more of my videos.